if every press conference we've probably had now for about 15, 16 games we spoke about coming off the back of a game where we haven't been being in a different situation this week. What has training been like? Has it been different compared to usual or has it almost spurred the lads on to really, you know, hit these four games with everything that they've got? We've not trained, so I, wouldn't, I can't comment. Um, listen, we, we we knew where we were in terms of Saturday, Monday was a big ask. We've given the players a, a couple of days. Um, some lads that needed work were set work um, and we're obviously back at it back at it today. So normal for us, the two day lead into a um, to a weekend, weekend fixture um, and the next couple of days will be, certainly today will be a, a, a generic session nice and bright because um, we have a few lads that we're not going to risk this morning um, and then we'll do our actual work on the pitch and on the grass, if you like, going into uh, Saturday's games t- tomorrow. Um, but listen, motivation comes in lots and lots of different ways. We're, we're, we've been on a great run. The the end of one run has to become the start of another one and we've got to, we've got to bounce back. We've done that really well this season and hopefully Saturday will be um, that where there's an opportunity for us to to do that um, and continue the run we've got going going here. I know you don't want to look back too much, but looking at Monday, obviously defeat. What were the the key things that you took out of that game as you assess, you know, the the rest of the games going forward? We lost a close game, um, and probably when you look at it in in isolation, in terms of you look at the stats and and things like that, um, we had opportunities. Their keeper made some some really really good saves. Um, we had, probably had more shots and we had more shots on target and we had more possession by a significant amount, but it means means nothing. Um, I don't think we were we were at it for 45 minutes um, and whether that was a hangover from Saturday and the physical uh, demands or not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but what it does show is that if you're not quite at it, um, make sure you do the basics and you don't, concede and you don't give away a, a sloppy goal as, as we did because ultimately that goal has cost us the cost us the game cost us the opportunity to not just get uh, one point but to get, to get three points and um your season can be um can be over in in a 45 minute block if you like and that's something we need to uh we need to like i say take on board and learn from is is the 4G pitch of Bromley? Does that come into it at all? And how, how how much did how much did that play in the minds of the players, especially when you train and obviously you train on grass and obviously looking towards that certain game or also playing on 4G? How much of a factor does that play? No, listen, uh, it plays as much much a factor as you want it to play. I think what 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 potentially people will think and and, and players at times will potentially think is, oh, a 3G pitch means the ball's always on the floor. Um, doesn't go above head height, gets passed, and you get loads of time. And it's not like that. Um, all those the pitches that you you, you play on are, are lively pitches. Um, but I think in the main, grass pitches are I like that now, um, especially this part of the season where a lot of the times the grass is coming back onto them. They've been watered. Um, the quick pitches. Um, that's a like I say that's a an excuse one that doesn't doesn't sort of doesn't really really sit with uh, with me didn't change us in terms of what we wanted to do and what we wanted to get from the game we we, we put that um like I say to the players and we spoke about that um but you've got to go out and you've got to go out and perform and, and, and recognize a game of football first and foremost what you've got to do is you've got to you've got to win that battle you've got to win that arm wrestle um to sort of allow the game to open up um, and, and I don't think we did that well enough in the first 45 minutes How would you assess the league situation now a win of this Saturday mathematically guarantees a playoff place which is such a great achievement in itself but do you, do you still believe the title is, is there for the taking and did you did you look at Notts County's game against Sutton as a, as a chance to still still be right in it as well? I don't know, to be honest. Like I say, we can't really, really focus on that. What we, what we, I felt that this weekend was massively important for us. And again, you look back at it, and, and, and in hindsight, if you if you put three points um, onto our total, um, then it, it's right, right open. Um, I think what's happened, obviously, now with us not winning means 
talk here. I think I think six points ahead of us, so they need to to slip up twice. And listen, football's not played on paper, but if you look at paper, their next two games against Bromley and, and Stockport are tough games. Um, the two after that, um, they'd probably look at with teams with, like I say, not a great deal to play for. Um, but regardless, them games need winning. Um, what we've got to look at is, I suppose, um, if we'd have kept ourselves above Stockport, maybe Stockport would have done us a favour against Torquay, and then all of a sudden we go into a, a game against Sutton with everything to play for, if you like. That's not the case now. So we need we need favours from, I suppose, from other teams. Um, but like I say, it's a strange part of the season. Um, pressure can play um, a part. Um, Luck can play a, a big part. Decisions can play a part. Um, so you've just got to keep, like I say, keep, keep digging away. It's tough enough winning your winning your own games. So f- for us, it's about trying to win first and foremost Saturday, and then if we can do that, reassess where we're at and try and win another three games after that. If we win all four games, hopefully that will be enough for us to finish uh, finish in the in the top three. Um, if it finishes at, us at the top, brilliant. Um, but like I said, we're not in control of that. We're in control of, of what we do. Um, and our first task is, is made in the over Saturday. Just mentioning about the top three, has it come into the conversation in, in recent weeks about how important it is that if we don't finish at that top spot, that you know we really need to go for that second and third to give us the best possible chance in the playoffs? Listen, I suppose regardless of um, winning two games, which you're going to have to do in a in a in a in a playoff scenario, and if you finish second or third, you're going to have to win a home game and a player and a, and a game on a neutral venue, or whether you you don't and you have to win a home game and a away game and a, and a game on a neutral venue, it, it doesn't make a great deal of difference. Um, I think this year more than most, um, it's probably. Still important, but not as important because previously, um, if you'd have finished fourth or seventh, you'd be playing Thursday, Saturday, five or the following Saturday. I think the, the way it's worked this year is it's weekend, weekend, weekend. So you do get opportunity between games to, I suppose, recover and get yourself set. Um, but we want to finish as high as we can. Um, that's that's where it is. If, if, if we can, brilliant. Um, when playoff time, comes around if, if that's the case then you, you deal with things individually and um like i say from then onwards it's about winning games winning cup finals to to get you out of the division Look into this weekend then maidenhead at home i played them very close to the beginning of the season that four nil game where when i when i think back to it i just remember them having so many chances and then obviously we get the goal close to half time and the game ending four nil but do you see a different maidenhead team now towards the end of the season and they're obviously you know, they're not far away from the playoffs games in hand as well. Is, is they're going to come on Saturday and probably really have a go. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the team that, like I say, the game down there at the start of the season, um, I said as much as I spoke about Saturday and 45 minutes potentially um, being defined in your season. If we weren't at it for 45 minutes down there, like I say, scored on the struggle half time just after half time, and from that point on, looked like a team that had won our first couple of games and looked like a team that. We're going to score every time we went forward, and that tests the confidence of, like I say, a team that had lost their first couple. So, um, or for, I think two, yeah, first two or three. Um, so f- for us, it's um, it, it's about getting back to getting back to winning ways against a team that are a lot more confident. They've got some had some great results. They've gone away from home and won it, um, or picked up results at, at significant uh, ground where they probably weren't fancied. Um, but, we know what we're up against. Um, I'm sure they do as well. I recognise it's a, a tough game for them as it, as it is for us. Um, but we, we go into it, like I say, in a really good place with uh, with huge motivation. I know you would have done your homework already, but I spoke to their assistant manager, Ryan, and he said they're very much a team that like to be in your face and, and press uh, and, and be creative on the ball. Do you almost prefer playing against them types of teams that are going to come out and, and really, really have a go so we can almost try and play our football rather than a team that's just going to, you know, sit in and we have to really dig in for 90 minutes? Um, you've got to be adaptable in football. It's easy to to say you, you, you're going to be on the on the front foot and press and, um, and do those things. Game plans can go out the window in a, in a, in a flick of a switch, if you like. Um, 
we've just got to, like I say, worry about worry about us in terms of in terms of what we do. Try and put them on the back foot. Um, try and make them make mistakes. Try and put the ball in good areas. Try and get attempts at goal, um, and, and try and get ourselves in front. And when we do get ourselves in front, really kick on. Um, whether they come and are like I say, are on the on the front foot and, and try and press against us, the we'll see. We're certainly not go, going to go into the game expecting that they'll do a certain thing. We'll we'll. Um, we'll work on all different scenarios and, and, like I say, worry about what we need to do to overcome them. Just finally, team news for this weekend. Obviously, Gary Little misses out. Um, but just talk us through the other, you know, injuries that were picked up over uh, the weekend and lads that might have to sit out for this one. Yeah, I'm not. We're not sort of absolutely ruling anybody out at the moment, um, but. We've got a few little niggles. Luke Armstrong has got a, a, a little niggle. Um, some are superficial in terms of the surface and things. Fergie's got a whack on the on the knee. Harvey's got a, a, a whack on the knee. Um, we've obviously Jono and Cass coming back. So we've a few little bits and bobs, but um, nothing massively significant. Nothing to add to what we've already had that's going to keep anybody out for for weeks as such um, we have to make a decision like I say with the squad in, in a good place as to whether we need to risk anybody or whether um, we can make changes without significantly weakening us in order to go and win the game 